Creating a life you love is the best form of therapy. In fact, creators, not complainers, are the only ones that are going to change the world. So create, don't complain. If you create a healthy body, there is no disease. If you create a loving relationship, there isn't the pain that you're feeling in your relationship. If you create abundance of money, there is no poverty. See, if you create a life you love, then you will not face depression and anxiety. See, the key is, is if you actually realize this, if you really get it, that if you create what it is you really desire, if you really create a life you love, if you put your complete super conscious focus on creating a life you love, you fill it with the people that you love, you have the body that you love, you you choose the feelings that you want to feel, you create the career and the purpose that you really will love, and you focus on that and you create it, and you set the intention that it's possible to create a life you love, and you go for it. Everything that most people see as a problem will no longer be an issue for you because you will be living a life you love. And I know it sounds simple, but so often we put the power in what we don't want. We put the power, I don't want this, I don't want that, and we do it unconsciously. We're so focused on what we don't want, we haven't decided what we do want. You see, the challenge with this is if you focus on what you don't want, so you don't want disease, and you don't want to be single, and you don't want to be judged, and you don't want to you know, not have a purpose, and you don't want to, and you don't want to. See, if you do that, the only thing that exists is what you don't want. Now, let me give you an example. If there's a certain place in the world that you don't want to visit, by focusing on that place, let's let's say it's uh, where I live, the Gold Coast, Australia. If you say, I don't want to be there. The only way to know that you're not there is for that place to exist. See? So if, in order for you not to get there, you must know where it is at all times. So it must follow you around. You must always know where it is. You must always know where that place is. If it's if that place you don't want to be is London, or if you don't want to be in New York, if you don't want to be in LA, then that place must exist so you're not there. Now, you could end up anywhere with this focus. See? If you have only what you don't want, you can end up in any city, any place that's just not that city. And who's to tell you that the place you end up is actually what you want, right? It's just not what you don't want. So what we must do is we must become creators. See, if we choose, if we choose to, to live in a certain place, we say, I choose to live in Sydney, Australia, or I'm going to choose to live in Bali, Indonesia, or I'm going to choose to live in California, or I'm going to choose to live in Austin, Texas. As you make the choice of what you want, that is the thing that must exist. And you're always going to know where you're going to go and where you must be. So you see the difference. One is focus on what you don't want. And therefore, the only thing that must exist is what you don't want. If you focus on what you do want, then the only thing that must exist out there is that. Now, you as the creator are going to be somewhere on the journey towards what you want or away from what you don't want. However, where your focus is creates. You have that creative power. So you must shift into creating a life you love. If you create a life you love, and if you look at the last week of your life and the last month of your life, and it's filled with who you love and feelings that you love and activities that you love, and if that's what you choose, you really choose that, well, then there's not going to be what you don't want. You see, because you're too busy with all the activities that you do love and the, the amount of money you do love and the people that you do love and the feelings that you do love. And so you focus on that. However, by focusing on what you don't want, which is what most people do, they, they, they never actually ever rid themselves of what they don't want. So become a creator, not a complainer. Focusing on a life you love and creating that is the best form of therapy available. You see, Many people will say it's never too late to have a happy childhood. And it's just not true, you see. There's no need to go back over your whole childhood and try to fix it and change it. It is what it is. It's done. What you must do is realize that if you right now create a life you love, that's what you're going to have. And if you get one year in a life you love, it's more than most people. If you can get a decade living a life you love, gosh, you're a winner. You really have got it. So today, focus on creating a life you love. Focus on how you want it to be. Your life will change if you do it.
it is the best form of therapy.